spectacular truck tassel in world-famous Atlantic City. It's time to play television's non-stop game of knowledge, Truck Time. And now, here's the star of Truck Time, Jimmy Sapporo. Thank you for joining us for Trump Star today, everyone. We're here at the fabulous Trump Castle, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Competition is king around here, and we have three contestants who are ready to challenge each other today with over $15,000 in cash and a chance to win $100,000 in the Trump Car Championship. So let's play Trump Star. today's players, please say hello to our trump card hostess, Miss Debbie Massey. Hi, Debbie. Thanks very much. Now let's meet today's players. Contestant number one from Vineland, New Jersey, Denise Vanneman. Am I pronouncing that correctly? You got it. All right, Denise. A customer service representative, and it says you enjoy game playing. What kind of games do you enjoy? Oh, most board games. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy trump card. I'm sure you will. Good luck in the show. Thank you. And Holly Mayer from Garfield, New Jersey. An actor, mm -hmm. and once the general manager for a minor league baseball team, where? Actually, it was assistant general manager. Um, there were two, uh, Waterbury, Connecticut, and Asheville, North Carolina. How'd the team do? Pretty well? Um, Waterbury was horrible, <laughs> but Asheville won the uh, championship. You mean the team, not, team not the city. Of course. No, the city was nice. <laughs> Best of luck to you. <laughs> and Gary Kaplan from Levittown, Pennsylvania. How fun. How fun. Yeah. Thank you. A disc jockey, and uh, it says you're pretty good at impressions. Can you give us a quick one? Oh, Stan, if I don't win this game, I'm going to call Clemenza to come <laughs> Terrific. That was great, Jimmy Carter. I was Thanks, Gary. Best of luck to you. Here's how we play our game. Each of the contestants have their own trump card. The object of the game is to cover all 15 numbers on their card by answering questions correctly. The first player to do so can win over $5,000, plus the chance to win that $10,000 in our trump card bonus. Our players, you can win round one and $750 in cash by being the first to cover all four corners on your card. And you'll do so by answering questions in the following categories. And they are black and blue movies. That's movies with black or blue in the title. The Jacksons, people in places named Jackson. Bottoms up, our drink category. And in other words, we'll paraphrase a well-known title or phrase. You give us its more familiar form. Each category contains four questions. And a correct answer will cover a quarter on your card and let you call the uh, very next category for us. An incorrect answer will be frozen out of the next question. Now, Gary, since you won the toss backstage and gave us such a good impression, would you please choose a category for us? Okay, Jimmy, let's go with black and blue movies. In this 1980 film, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd played musical siblings who nearly ruined Chicago. Denise. The Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers is right, yes. We cover number one on your side. Let's go with black and blue movies, Jimmy. This 1988 film stars Deborah Winger and Theresa Russell, who seduces, marries, and murders her husband, Denise. Black Widow. Black Widow is correct. Yes, good start for you. Okay, let's stick with black and blue movies. The first film to use rock music in its score told a harrowing tale of a teacher in the New York school system named this 1950, Gary? The Blackboard Jungle. 55, Sydney 48 film, Blackboard Jungle is correct. Yeah, you're on the board. Let's try bottoms up, Jimmy. To make a Cape Cotter, Bullfrog, or Screwdriver, what's the only kind of alcohol you need, Gary? Vodka. Vodka is right, yeah. We have a tie between Gary and Denise. Let's try bottoms up again, Jimmy. If you were on a first-name basis with your drinks, what would you call the concoction whose last name is Wallbanger? Denise. Harvey. Harvey, yeah, that's right. One more answer, you win the money. Let's go back to black and blue movies, Jimmy. Last question in the category. Mickey Rooney stars as veteran trainer in this 1979 adventure film, that takes a boy and a horse from shipwreck. Denise for the win. Black Stallion. That's right, to the race. Right. Black Stallion is shipwreck. Congratulations, Denise. That's all four corners. You've got your first round win. You've got $750 in cash. And as you know, all the money you went on truck parts, we let you keep it. Stay with us. We'll come back in just a moment for round two, and we'll double the money to $1,500.
Denise Vanneman is $750 richer, and in this round, number two, we're going to win $1,500. Somebody will. That's all in cash if you become the first player to cover the five numbers across your center line. Right now, Debbie is giving each and every one of you this very special trump card. Starting with this round, you may use this card to block the progress of one of your opponents. Now, you can do that only after you give the correct answer. You only have one card. There are two rounds to go, so please play it wisely. And players, if you win the game and still have the trump card left over at the end, then you go into the bonus round with an extra advantage. Now, here are the categories we'll be playing in round number two. Andrew Lloyd Webber, famous trials, secret identities, and initials, organizations, etc., that are abbreviated by initials. And uh, let's see, Denise, you won that first round, so please choose the first category for us. Okay, Jimmy, let's start with Andrew Lloyd Webber. It opened in 81, and by 89 had become the most profitable musical in history. Name this whiskered winner. Denise. Cat. Cat is right. Yes, we cover number six on your card. We'll stay with Andrew Lloyd Webber. Lloyd Webber cast his wife in some of his productions. Name her. Howie. Sarah Brighton. Yeah, and you're on the board. All right, Howie, way to go. Um, let's go to Secret Identities, Jim. What's the heavenly alter ego of Simon Templar? Gary. The Saints. Saints is right. Yeah, and you're on the board. Okay, in the let's try Secret Identities again, Jim. What secret word changes Billy Batson into Captain Marvel, Howie? Shazam. Shazam is right. We cover number 22 on your card. Initials, Jimmy. First time in this category. Your career might be up in the air if you work for NASA. What does NASA stand for? Gary. National Aeronautics Space Administration. Yeah, that's right. Correct. We cover number 37. Okay, let's try famous trials, Jim. First time in this category. At his 1989 trial for fraud and conspiracy, he broke down and sobbed and was led from the courthouse in manacles. Name this defrock televangelist. Denise. Jimmy Baker. Jimmy Baker is correct. Let's go back to Andrew Lloyd Webber, Jimmy. We have a tie all across the board. Gary, Holly, Denise, you all have two correct answers in round number two. With a maniacal laugh, what shadowy character sends a massive chandelier plummeting to the stage? Denise. Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, that's right. You break the tie. We cover number eight on your card. Well, let's go to famous trials. In the spectacular 1982 trial, exhibit number two was a little black bag containing a hypodermic needle. Named a socialite defendant accused of using this needle to kill his wife. Howie. Klaus von Bülow. Yes, correct. We cover number 23. The tie now between Denise and Howie. Um, let's go back to secret identities, Jim. As Lamont Cranston's alter ego, he knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men. Howie, name him. Shadow. The shadow knows, correct. One more answer, Howie, and you'll win this round. We'll stay with secret identities, Jimmy. Diana Prince is the secret identity of what Amazon princess? Howie for the win. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, it's correct. Congratulations, Howie. That's terrific. You were shut out in round number one. And now we come to round number two, and here you go, good for competition. First of all, I have, let's see, $750 for the next, and we'll go round number one. And for Holly, I've got $1,500. You never gave up hope, did you? No way. You seem a little nervous during the break. I said, Holly, stranger things have happened on this show. Keep with it. Here he is with $1,500. Don't worry about it, Gary, because in round three, we're going to double the money again to $3,000. Stay with us for all the excitement. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to Trump Card. We have three uh, very good contestants today, Denise, Howie, and Gary. Denise, you've got $750. Howie, you've got $1,500. Gary, just what I said to Howie before, it doesn't mean that uh, just because you have no money right now, it's not over quite yet. You're a disc jockey. And, uh, what nighttime kind of disc jockey. Nighttime disc jockey. What kind of music do you play in your station? Most, it's, it's a nightclub we, I work at. It's mostly disco dance music that we play. We mm -hmm. play some oldies during happy hour, but it's mostly disco dance music. You've got a great voice for it. All right, best of luck the rest of the show. Players, we call this crunch time around here. This is our flash round. There are no categories. First player to complete their card will win that $3,000 and a shot, of course, and a trump card bonus for $10,000. Let's recap the scoring. Today, you need eight correct answers for the money. Howie, you're 10 answers away. And Gary, 11 answers will get you that money. So it is a close race. I want to remind you, you all have those trump cards sitting in front of you. After you give a correct answer, if you so choose, you can block the progress of one of your opponents. Hands on buzzers. May the best player win. And here we go. 
In May 1990, the first annual convention was held in Illinois for impersonators of this rock and roll king. Name him, Gary. Elvis Presley. That's right, Elvis Presley. What five-letter word is printed across your derriere if your jeans were designed by George Marciano? Gary. Giorgio. No, sorry, guess the correct answer. And we block you out of the next question. From 1980 to 1988, Ronald Reagan served as president. From 1967 to 75, he served as governor. But from 65 to 66, Reagan hosted what television western? Howie. Death Valley Day. Yeah, that's right. We light up number 16 on your car. Gary, you're back into it. Give me the first name of showman P.T. Barnum. Denise. Phineas. Yeah, Phineas Taylor. That's correct. Before Copernicus, scientists believed that the planets revolved around what body? Denise. The Earth. The Earth is right. Yeah, we cover number three on your car. In what city would you be waiting for your luggage if your airport claim check read ORD, O-R-D? It would be Chicago, Chicago airport. In terms of newspapers, Baltimore has the sun in the morning. What northeastern city has the globe? Gary. Boston. Boston Globe is correct, yes. In what Hemingway novel would you meet an aging fisherman named Santiago? Gary. The old man in the sea. Yeah, I told you might come back. That's right. Right now, let's recap. Denise, you need six answers. Howell, you're nine away. And Gary, you need eight correct answers for the win. You all have your trump cards. Just a reminder. On March 28, 1979, who became the first female prime minister of Great Britain? Denise. Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher's correct. You are now five answers away from the money. Bruce Wayne is Batman. Name his butler. Howie. Alfred. Alfred is correct, yes. What was the last name of the man who created a library decimal system? Howie. Dewey. Dewey, right? Mel Dewey is correct. We cover number 18. In the company known as 3M, what do the three M's stand for? Denise. Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing. Yeah, that's right. Tough one. And you got it right. You're four answers away from the money. Author Earl Dare Biggers created this fictional detective who was an inscrutable member of the Honolulu Police. Name him. Gary. Charlie Chan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not a stab in the dark, was it, Gary? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> was a good answer. It worked for it. What 12-letter word describes a person who uses both hands equally well? Denise. Ambidextrous. That's right. You need three answers for all the money. Uh, Howie, you're seven away. And Gary, you need seven as well. According to legend, during a baseball game in 1910, President Taft got to his feet yawned and invented what ballpark tradition? Howie. Throwing at the first ball. No, sorry, the seventh inning stretch, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. What X-rated film title was used to identify the unnamed source during Watergate? Denise. Deep Throat. Yeah, Deep Throat is right. You're two answers away from the money. Howie, you're back in. What year is the next leap year? Howie. 1994. No, sorry, 92, the correct answer. You're blocked out once again. Who is the fat and jovial chaplain in the Tales of Robin Hood? Gary. Little John. Oh, oh no, Friar Tuck. Friar Tuck. Yeah, he had it right. Next, you block out of the next question. How are you back mm. into it? What unit of measurement gauges sound intensity? Denise. Decibel. That's right. One answer, you get the money. Gary, you are back into it. This Russian goldsmith created jeweled Easter eggs, not perfume. Name him. Denise for the win. Fabergé. Fabergé is the correct answer. Congratulations. Congratulations, Denise. You win the game. We have three thousand dollars for your total, and now you get a chance to play a trump card bonus. The possibility of ten thousand more dollars. Holly, you won that fifteen hundred bucks. Gary, I'm so sorry you didn't win. You're such a great contestant. We want to thank you for uh, sharing your impersonations with us. I'm sure. Best of luck to you in the future, Denise. Come on down here because I'm going to tell you how you can win some more money. Thank you. What was your favorite category? Yeah. Oh, I think Angel Boy Beverly Hills. You like it, didn't you? Yeah, I can tell. You, you seem to enjoy plays and yeah. musicals and... I do. Well, that might help you in the next uh, category and next round as well. You've beaten your opponents, but I think your stiffest test is probably coming up. Because you're going to go against our trump card bonus board for the chance to win that $10,000. We'll see how Denise does when we return to trump card in just a moment. to see Trump Card, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Trump Card, Post Office Box 749, Atlantic City, New Jersey, 08404.
Today's your advance to uh, game show heaven. You have the opportunity to win $10,000 and the possibility of qualifying to try for that $100,000 later on in the year should you do well today. Here's how we play the trump card bonus now. The board that we have behind us has 25 numbers on it. If you give me a correct answer, we'll light up a number on the board. It's as simple as that. The object of the game is to light up five numbers in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally by giving me a correct answer. And if you can do that in 45 seconds or less, I'll give you $10,000. Does that sound to you? Good deal. <laughs> All right, before we start, I'm going to ask jo uh, Debbie to come out and join us. She has a special deck of cards, and they are numbered 1 through 25. If you'll choose one for us, please. And you still have your trump card, correct? I do. I'll take that. You pick another one. That's your extra advantage for not using it during the round. There you go, Debbie. Thank you. Now, your picks were number 20 and number 17. Oh, the audience is already going, oh, oh, oh. You've picked uh, 17 and 20, two free numbers up on the board. You've got 45 seconds. Now, if you call out a number, I'll ask a question. If you pass or answer incorrectly, we block that number, and you must start a new line. The obvious strategy is straight across because you have two numbers in that same line. If that misses, though, you have the diagonal going up using the 17. You can go straight down on either side. You're in good shape. <laughs> Remember, if you don't give me a number, I can't ask a question, and that'll cost you some precious time. We'll start the clock as soon as I ask the first question, and if you will, give me a number. 16. Which planet is named for the mythical god of the sea? Neptune. Correct. 18. What mountain range covers over 60% of Switzerland? The yeah. Alps. Correct. Number. A 19. What vehicles are raced in the Tour de France? Bicycles. Bicycles is correct. <laughs> Our friends are out the audience screaming. You did it in just 15 seconds. $10,000. We'll sum it all up in just a moment. Hotel Director, discount from the nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies, 1-800-726-SAVE. Today's Phantom has just won $13,750 in total. It took you uh, 15 seconds during that final round. <laughs> you know how it works. At the end of the year, we're going to take our 21 top contestants who've won the most money, and they would come back to compete for $100,000. You know, all these things are possible. Anything is possible around here. We're giving away a lot of money. Congratulations. Thanks. We have had a, a great cheering section for you. I've I, I played a lot of years in the NFL, and I have never heard a cheering <laughs> section this strong and loud. Come on out here. Debbie, bring the whole group out. <laughs> Can you see what we have? <laughs> no, okay. Not other loud friend, Mark. All right. This is my sister, Dana. Come on over here, Mom. Right in here. Right? <laughs> this is my mom, Debbie. Congratulations. <laughs> When you find out that Denise is going to be on, uh, on the show, did you ever think she'd win this much money? Yeah. <laughs> hey, if a mom can't have confidence in her daughter, who can, right? right? How far did you drive to get here today? About 40 miles. 40 miles? Oh, that's not so bad. No. All right, what are you going to do with the money? That's the big question. Well, pay off a few bills and invest. I think. Invest. Pull your friends out. Yeah. 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 Who's going out tonight? I, uh, who's going to pick up the tab, Mom? Mom? Who's picking oh, up the Sheila. tab? Sheila, yeah, of course, yeah. You've been, hey, you've been paying for things your whole life for this woman. It's about time she picks up the tab. All right, darn suit. All right, I want to thank everybody for coming. Denise, congratulations. Thank you very much. $13,750. For Debbie Massey and the entire family here, I'm Jimmy Steffel. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on Trump's Talk.